Welcome back to another video for Dark and Darker. I'm Big Skillet, and today we're going to try to figure out does luck actually work? And more specifically with the Goblin Merchant. So what I did was I had 20 opportunities to select 10 items each. So for a total of 200 items, I did it without a luck set, and then I did it with a luck set that had 285 luck, which is what I believe to be the max unless you're a bard with the perk. And I think this the results are gonna surprise you. They definitely surprised me. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. But uh, uh, So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed through all of the sessions where really nothing substantial was pulled. And then I'll slow down the sessions where we actually got something worth talking about. And I'll show the results as we go. The ticker will add up everything from the legendaries um, epics and rares we don't care about the greens really um and then i'll let you decide at the end what you think is better is it better to spend the the gold on the luck set and try it that way or is it not so let me know in the comments below and then we'll do a summary at the end just to talk about what we what we saw all right let's get to it all right let's go ahead and look uh, do some goblin merchant but we're not going to use any luck gear got one wow nice heavy leather leggings with one strength damp biz damage bonus spell casting speed I, I don't know if a, like a warlock would wear this or something like that but finally an actual legendary with no no luck set wow <clears throat> I was not expecting that and actually a pretty decent book I'll keep that plus two magical healing for my warlock two legendaries oh my gosh Oh my gosh, that is insane. Two legendaries. Wow. Wow. I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. Legendary. There's no way to three. I don't understand. That's, that's amazing. No, luck set. This could be crazy. Let's see what we did. Probably cools off big time. Oh, those aren't bad at all. Not bad. That's not bad either for a longbow. Legendary again, back to back legendaries. Wow. No luck set, back to back legendaries. And that's good. Magic power, true magic damage. Memory cap is, you know, whatever. And a little bit of PDR. Wow. Cleric could really use that. PDR Cleric, that's this. Oh, I don't know about this, but close. Wow. 
back to back legendary goblin merchants with no luck set. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go again and see if we get some more legendaries. That's, that's insane. Another legendary? Wow. Almost wish I hadn't used the luck set. Not this luck set, even though it wasn't too expensive. Another legendary. And look at this. This legendary is nasty. Plus 12 weapon damage, 4.6% fizz damage bonus, 2 fizz power, and 4 max health. Man, I'm going to be rich after this. I feel it. That's actually a pretty decent win list. Some fizz damage and max health. Wow. Garbage, garbage. Good for what it is, but garbage. Uh, yeah, whatever. Nope, nope, nope. Another legendary. Oh my God, this is amazing. Uh, let's see, we got magic power, max health bonus, which is good. Magic damage bonus and I don't know if this is gonna sell for much but another freaking legendary and we still have one more to go wow absolutely rolling here let's see what this last one is
Set on, it's gonna leave it on all day. Uh, let's get this visa out of the way because I hope it's not. Uh, there it is, boys. Yes, oh my gosh, let's look at this thing. Ring of quickness. We got some max health bonus, which is good. Magic penetration, yeah, whatever, fine. An armor rating and some memcat. Um, I, I definitely think a cleric would love this. This this should sell pretty good. Can we get two? Can we get two legendary rings of quickness? Come on, come on, come on. Uh, no.
right, we go again. Let's see what we got. No, the fucking shit's crap. Let's get out of the way. Oh, ridge. Round skill. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wow. Let's see what we got. We got some magic resistance, which is good. Got some PDR, 2.8%. That's really good. Buff duration isn't bad. And of course, the other one. Yeah, that's good. That's definitely a keeper. Sweet. Can we get two out of this run? We go again. There we go. Nice. What does it look like? Uh, fizz damage bonus, magic damage bonus. So that might be good for a cleric, maybe warlock. Yes, nice. <clears throat> Look at that, another legendary. <clears throat> Holy shit, it's Biss. I mean, the buff buff duration isn't great, but the additional weapon damage, plus four max health and armor pin. I think I don't know if, you, if probably six is the max max health, but that's that's an unbelievable Albert. Uh, even though they just nerfed it, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, now that that's all done and we've made 400 individual purchases of gear, 200 with luck, 200 with no luck. And I don't know about you, but I was really surprised with the results. If, as you see the results here, um, with no luck, I was actually able to get one extra legendary, nine extra epics, and 13 extra rare items with no luck. So these results, which I, I, I believe are significant. 200 opportunities versus 200 opportunities and no luck wins, uh, hands down. It's not even comparable. Um, that's not to say that maybe luck uh, on the items I did get, maybe the rolls were better. I doubt it. I didn't go to that uh, level of detail. But in my opinion, uh, luck does not have an impact or at all on the Goblin Merchant. It's just completely random. I wouldn't waste the gold on buying the set. Uh, the set wasn't very expensive. I bought it last week. Most of the items were purchased for about 100 gold each, um, except for the golden gloves. Those were 550 gold. So definitely not worth it. I wouldn't waste the gold on it. Um, but now with this new religion system that's going to be uh, possibly in the next few days or, or definitely next wipe, with the additional luck from that, then maybe it does. Uh, maybe there's a certain threshold you have to cross to where the luck actually starts you start seeing the you know the benefits of it i don't believe that's going to be the case i wish it'd be cool if iron mace would just tell us does luck have any bearing on the goblin merchant uh, if they have i'm not aware of it and I'm, I'm usually pretty much in tune with uh the community and what's going on um but anyway if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and i do plan to start streaming soon back again i haven't streamed in quite a long time uh, pretty much since the play test but uh, start of the next wipe. I'm going to start streaming in the evenings and, and probably every other weekend and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks. Have a good one until next time.